This is Sony Vegas Studio HD 11 and I want to show you how to place a logo, watermark, video bug, whatever you want to call it, and how to place it in your video. I've already got Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD 11 open. I have a video track on the screen. I'm going to get the logo that I created. I'm going to drag that to the topmost track and in HD 11 that's going to be the text track but your program may be different. If you don't have an additional track you may have to insert one. Depends on the version of your program. I'm going to move my mouse pointer to the edge of the uh, logo graphic and I'm going to click hold with my left mouse button and I'm going to move it to extend it out to match the length of the video. It doesn't have to be exactly the length of the video. You might decide to have an intermittent one. Oh, one of the neat things about Sony Vegas is that there's this lovely uh, blue-green line that lets you know that you've matched up with the bottom video perfectly. Yay! I like that. Let go. And the next, well, before we move on, you can see in the monitor that the transparent logo is in full effect. You can see both the logo and the video behind it. That's why it was so important to have a uh, transparent logo. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is move back to the text uh, menu on the text track. I want to select track motion. I'm going to click that button. That's going to bring up the track motion window. And one of the first things I want to check is to make sure that the lock aspect ratio button is engaged, that it's active. On some of the earlier versions of Sony Vegas, it may be in this area. You'll have to double check. But you want to make sure that that's active. Okay, this is really simple. Uh, you're going to move to a corner of the rectangle. Pick a corner of your choice. I'm going to go with the lower left corner. You're going to click with your mouse button. You're going to move in. And as you move in, you can cross-check with your monitor, and you're actually resizing the graphic. Get it to where you want it to be, the size, and then release your mouse button. And now you can move to the center of the graphic and physically move it to exactly where you want it on the screen. Again, you're cross-checking on your monitor to make sure that, that it's exactly where you want it to be. When you get it just right, let go of your mouse and there you have it. Now, uh, you may choose to write down these positions and you could actually go ahead and type them in instead of doing stuff with the mouse if you're so numerically inclined. You also could set this up as a preset uh, where you could have it instead of having to do this you could um, create a new preset with some variations on it and save it, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, in Sony uh, Vegas Movie Studio 11, you click the uh, red X to close. Alright, so let's test this out. I'm going to play the video. <laughs> Okay, so that's what you do now. I probably wouldn't choose this particular logo for this project, but I happen to like the color at the time. Um, again, this was using the track motion feature of Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD 11. It's one of the easier ways of doing it. You also have the option of using the event pan crop feature, and that is certainly a viable way of doing it as well. This is a lot faster, a lot more efficient. Thanks for watching.